The Air Tractor 502 XP offers a number of benefits to ag operators, including one that's often overlooked. It's a quiet airplane. Thanks to its extra power and four-blade prop, the 502 XP produces less noise than the AT502B. In our industry, it's really important for us to keep the noise down. We get calls every year from the public complaining about how we woke up the baby or we disturbed their dogs by flying over people's houses. So we are going to be testing how much quieter the 502 XP is than our 502B. I am Claire Meshkat and I am here with my fellow aerospace engineer, Evan Mortensen. He's one of the many brilliant engineers we have here at Air Tractor. And we'll be running through the analysis after the test flight to see how much quieter the 502 XP is than the 502B. My name is Evan Mortensen. I'm the certification manager here at Air Tractor and was involved in the certification of the 502 XP. Um, there are two major components in the noise of an airplane, of a propeller-driven airplane. One is the, the velocity of the tips of the propellers. And so, because the 502B and the 502 XP have propeller diameters that are approximately the same, slowing down the engine, or the propeller speed, really reduces the tip speed. And uh, for the 502B, with the Dash 34 AG engine, that tip speed is based on a 2200 RPM engine. Whereas in the 502 XP with the Dash 140 AG engine, the, the maximum propeller speed is only 1900 RPM. So the speeds are going a lot slower. And especially as you get close to the speed of sound, which propellers tend to get close to that, um, it makes a big difference on noise. The other contributor to propeller noise is blade loading. And uh, for the 34 AG engine, 750 horsepower into three blades, it's 250 horsepower per propeller blade. Whereas for the, the 140 AG engine, it's 867 horsepower, but into four blades, it's only 217 horsepower per blade. So each blade is unloaded somewhat. That means that the, the pressure difference at the tip of the blade is a little bit lower and it's going slower. And so both of those things combine to make the, the 502 XP a quieter airplane. To say that one of these planes is quieter than the other doesn't tell the whole story. What might be even more important is that the sound of these two planes is perceived differently by the human ear. But what does that mean? To answer that question, we need to understand how sound works. The perception of sound is divided into three parts, loudness, pitch, and timbre. When we talk about the loudness of a sound, we're really talking about sound pressure levels, or SPL, that's measured in decibels, a unit used to quantify the intensity of a sound. Simply put, the difference between the loudest and faintest sounds that humans can hear is about 120 decibels. In other words, there are about 120 levels of loudness that can be perceived, from the faintest whisper to the loudest clap of thunder. A normal human ear is able to hear sounds with frequencies from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The sounds we hear are comprised of various frequencies throughout that range. While we can hear that expansive range of sound, we are far more sensitive to sounds between 1 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz. Studies show that sounds in the higher frequency range of around 2 to 5 kilohertz are rated as most unpleasant. Timbre is what makes a particular musical sound have a different sound from another, even when they have the same pitch and loudness. For instance, it is the difference in sound between a guitar and a piano playing the same note at the same volume. So what did we actually test? Taking everything we know about sound into account, we recorded audio of both the AT502B and the 502 XP during takeoff. We used the same microphone, the same placement, in the same conditions. Both aircraft were pushed to full throttle and passed our recording equipment while still on the ground. Let's listen to the two test passes used for our analysis. Now 
Now let's look at a few different ways we can visualize these sounds. We ran our recordings through professional sound analysis tools to compare each aircraft's sound signature. The sound meter looks simply at the loudness, or SPL, of each aircraft. As you can see, the 502B peaks out at a higher decibel level than the 502XP. Now let's look at an octave analysis tool to see where the different sounds fall in the frequency range. This will help us visualize the pitch and timbre. Low pitch frequencies are on the left, and high pitch frequencies are on the right. The 502B exhibits high amplitudes from approximately 100 Hz up to 10 kHz, whereas the 502 XP only exhibits high amplitudes from 125 Hz to approximately 1 kHz. So what did all of this really tell us? In short, the 502 XP is a quieter airplane. When it comes down to it, the more powerful 502 XP has four propeller blades that turn slower than the three propeller AT502B. The four propellers of the 502 XP produce less sound, not only in volume, but less noise in the unpleasant sound ranges.